What up, y'all? I'm Bokeh Bob, and today we're going to be checking out Daring Run's newest keyboard, which will be in stock sometime by the end of August 2024, the Daring Run Flip 6P. This is a 60% with numpad layout, however, by flipping the top case and the numpad PCB, you can turn it into a southpaw layout if you desire. As always, I'd like to make it clear that this keyboard was sent to me for review from Daring Run. However, all opinions are my own and from my experiences building and using the keyboard. I usually use the keyboard for about a week before releasing my review, along with building the keyboard on stream. I stream both here on YouTube and on Twitch, and would love for you to stop by and hang out. Also, it would be greatly appreciated if you can like and most importantly subscribe to the channel, as it's a great way to support me and allows me to bring more reviews like these to you in the future. Now, let's flip this camera around and see what the Flip 6P is all about. See what I did there? Daring Run's first keyboard was the DR70F, which seemed to be a hit as the group buy did well, and so did the in-stock units as they sold out fairly quickly. For those that don't know, Daring Run is Wind Studio's budget studio, and you can see a lot of the same design and aesthetic elements you see in Wind Studio boards. The quality is always great, and of course the color options are usually endless. The Flip 6P starts at $149 and offers both wired and wireless PCB options. Along with offering HHKB and window keyless blockers as a purchasable option, if that's your style. The mounting solutions include PCB gasket mount and a sandwich mount. The standard kit comes with gasket mount polycarbonate plate. However, you do have options for aluminum and FR4 and gasket mount realm, along with an aluminum sandwich mount plate. Extra plates, of course, will add to your final price. Color options include E-Retro White, Anno Black, Anno Burgundy, Anno Dark Gold, Anno Purple, Spray Coated Black, and lastly Spray Coated Orange. The standard Group Eye Kit will come with all the foam you need, a carry case, and all the standard accessories to complete the build, like a daughter board and screws. I forget to mention some other features that are very nice. The PCB connects to the daughter board magnetically, which is awesome and great to see, and the number pad PCB connects via pogo pins, which this is the first time I've seen this, and it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this technology in any other keyboard. I personally have it. Let's hear a sound test, and then I'll give you my thoughts and recommendations afterwards. Enjoy. Right away, this board sounds great, especially for its price range. Let's jump into the perks and quirks. I was only sent a PC plate, so I was not able to test the sandwich mount option. However, in my experience with the past Daring Run and Wind Studios sandwich mount boards, they for sure need some type of force break to tame the hollowness. 
So keep that in mind if you think that is the direction you want to go. Let's start off with the quirks. And I guess I had to reach for this since it's pretty solid overall. Plate options. I wish you could see some polypropylene and carbon fiber options. I feel PC is a thing of the past and most people now are leaning towards polypropylene. It's cheaper and it sounds better in my opinion. Overall, the sound signature of this board is good, but it's not great. There's a little resonance, but for the price of the keyboard, that can be tolerated. This was easily remedied with a force break on my end. Now this leads to the perks. The price is on point with most budget customs, and the finish and quality is outstanding. And of course, the presentation of the product is great. If you're a fan of the layout and you're looking for a numpad board, I would say this is a no-brainer to buy, especially since Neo has yet to offer any board with a numpad option. The QK100 is a solid option, but the board is more expensive. Overall, I would recommend anyone looking at this board to pick it up. You won't be disappointed, and I think it would be a great option in your collection, or even a first board to use. That's it for the Flip 6P, and I hope you enjoyed my review. As always, check out some of my content here. Make sure to like and subscribe, and most importantly, have a good rest of your week. Thanks for the continued support in my channel, and we'll see you next time. Okay, Bob out.